Turn it up at night with Brad and Sharon. If you were on the radio, they'd listen to you. The Edge. Hello, Taylor Momsen. Hi, how are you guys? We're real good, thanks. How are you? Great, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Hey, uh, happy birthday for the other day, Taylor. Thank you. <laughs> did you get some good presents on the old walk tour? I did. The band bought me a, a, another rosary. Excellent. <laughs> Never that many and... Uh, you know, lots of fun, play the rock show. <laughs> how, how does it work, Taylor, being 17 years old and being amongst all those rock stars? How do you get to celebrate at after parties and all that sort of stuff? We didn't do much. I'm not a big birthday person. So we we played a show and we drove overnight and then the next day we went to a Mexican restaurant for dinner. Because you seem quite naughty from uh, things that you've seen in interviews. So we just assumed you'd be quite the partier after a show. <laughs> not really. I'm, I'm actually kind of, I mean, I'm, interviews are always have, have a very specific spin and they like to cause controversy, you know. <laughs> I mean, they, they take what I say a, a little bit out of context usually. I'm, I'm kind of a very chill person. I like to just kind of hang out with, you know, the people who are close to me and then uh, I'm, I'm not a big party girl. <laughs> See, this, this is what I get from reading interviews about you, Taylor. It's like, um, uh, I don't know, everyone seems to be putting you in a bad light and I mean, for somebody of your age, 17 years old, do you, do you take it to heart? I don't take anything to heart. I just take it this way. My fucking tampons on the goddamn internet. And <laughs> <laughs> that's not my fault. That's some asshole fucking shooting at my goddamn skirt. So, <laughs> you can't take any of it to heart. None of it's real. It's all this bullshit. Like, people are going to write stuff, and it is what it is. I'm just living my life. Brad and Sharon. Turning it up at night. So what do you say to Perez Hilton after him putting out a really nasty video, which I, I found kind of entertaining but also nasty at the same time when you think about that it's being said to a 17-year-old? I say if I was 18, congratulations for being a dick. I say <laughs> because I'm 17, you're, you're taking that, or 16 when he made it, actually. I would say uh, you're, you're, you're taking a chance there, buddy. But, you know, it's his job to pick on celebrities and to pick on people. So, you know, I give him props for doing his job. I, I kind of think that people don't realize that, you know, it's his job to pick on you. If he's not picking on you, then you're not doing something right. So <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really matter. None of it's real. I'm a person, he's a person, and we're all just doing our job. Now, your EP came out in New Zealand about a, a two weeks ago, Taylor. I've got to say I've been stalking your band for about a year. It's about time you've got something out already. I know, we're, we're really excited about it. We have a record coming out. I, I don't know when it's coming out in New Zealand. Do you guys know? It's coming out <laughs> on the 30th of August, same date as the UK. I would hope you'd know. I love that you, I'm hearing it from a radio station. <laughs> um, <laughs> now we have a record coming out called Light Me Up, and we're, we're very excited. Um, ben and I, the, the guitar player, and I wrote the record for about like two years. And we worked very, very meticulously and hard on it. So, you know, we're very excited for people to finally hear it. I love your song, Going Down, and I also love Blender. And it sounds like somebody's kind of broken your heart. Have you had anyone hit you up about those songs? I haven't had anyone hit me up. Going Down for an interesting one. I was, I was raised Catholic. I, uh... I, I fucked a priest once. So I'm just kidding. Yeah, I was going to say, that didn't really work out too well, did it? <laughs> they're, all, they're all stories. You know, songs are... Songs are you know, but like with all the things in the press and and with the Catholic League and 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 the you know the the priests coming out and the and the molestation of of kids and things like it seemed like a very fitting song to write at the time for going down and it was a very you know between the, the Pope and all those people and everything going on and I was very Catholic so it was just kind of a fuck you to like you know the molestation going on it's just insane. Turn it up at night. Taylor, you have some very young fans who idolise you, and I know that you don't like to really be idolised. Um, do you worry too much about, you know, the influence you, you put on the young ones? My whole thing is, you know, I'm 17 years old. I'm, I'm living my life, and, you know, people like to make accusations and judgments on who I am in my life based on what they see in press and tabloids and, you know, one-off comments, and it, it, which is a half of a sentence of what I said, and it's not even the correct meaning. And it. my point is, don't look up to me like a role model. I and mean, my whole point, on, and what you're saying is, is, don't look up to me like a role model. Don't. It's cool to have people you look up to and and want to be like. But my only message is, is what I do is find who you are and be yourself. Then don't try to emulate anyone. But as the front like, person of the band, that's band, sort of the reality of it is, you don't know me. You know, you're not in my living room. You're not on my tour bus. You're not. You know, you're not in my life, so don't emulate and read what you see in tabloids is like that to who I am. Like, it's cool to, you know, to, to look up to people and, and think they're cool, but be who you are. And you carry a knife everywhere and you can even smuggle it onto planes. Well, here's the, I, I don't want to say no comment, 
but I did not smuggle it onto a plane. I will clarify that. Your best friend is your vibrator. Well, that's the whole conversation. <laughs> yeah, I don't no. even want to hear about this. Jesus. <laughs> so it, it doesn't talk back to me, so it's really not a best friend. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think that people, if, if, you know, I think women should equally be allowed to pleasure themselves as much as men. <laughs> Amen to that, sister. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> I think if that has any more controversy than a man talking about pleasuring himself, I think there's something wrong with the world. <laughs> I, I just, I do. Like, women and men should be equal, and if you want to call them equal, then they should be equal. Oh. And that's what it is. Yeah, Taylor, girls you know? that say they don't are lying. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm not a whore for masturbating, so, like, fuck you if you want to call me one. <laughs> is it true that being compared to Miley Cyrus makes you furious? No. I, I don't care. <laughs> I just, I don't care. That that comment got entirely taken out of context. We've got some questions that have been sent to us on Twitter, Taylor, and these are all from Pretty Reckless fans in New Zealand. Amber wants to know, have you ever run into Courtney Love after a Twitter rant about you and the Veronicas? I didn't have Twitter at the time. I've heard about it, but I'm not really sure what was talked about, so I, I don't know. <laughs> what, okay, we've got one from Wainui. He wants to know what your thoughts on about uh, people that have come out in music recently, and Brad and I personally, they grind our gears. People like Justin Bieber. I don't know who Justin Bieber is. You other do than I so, know Taylor. That's what I think about it. I only know his name because it keeps being brought up to me, but I have no idea who Justin Bieber is. How can you not? <laughs> Listen to Led Zeppelin and the Beatles, and I have no idea who Justin <laughs> Bieber is. That's not a diss. It's just I don't know. I actually want to. I want to give a shout out to someone. One of my really good childhood friends moved to New Zealand, and, and I want to say hi in case she's listening. Oh, <laughs> I'd really like to say hi to my friend Nadia McDowell, and I love you. And if you ever want to contact me, go to Twitter and, and I'll know it's you. Tanya McDowell, <laughs> we'll look out for that. We will look out for that. Well, thank you so much for joining us, uh, Taylor, and uh, love the record. Can't wait to hear the whole thing. Thank you so much. Bye. Turn it up at night. The ads.